Welcome to this week's Coach's Corner. I'm joined now by new Mansfield head football coach, Daryl Barbeck. Coach, coming over from Texas, what made you want to cross the state lines, come here to Mansfield? Uh, I, I really think just kind of a challenge. Uh, you know, I'm up in age. Uh, I always tell my wife, I hope I don't look like it, but but I am. Uh, I'd gotten to a point where I had an opportunity to kind of finish up my career there, and rather than kind of just going to something else, I, I think this was an opportunity. And like I said earlier, you know, I, I, I'm a Christian person, and I prayed, and uh, the opportunity was really offered to me. And when it was, it, it felt right, you know. And a lot of, you know, you can apply for a lot of jobs, you can do a lot of stuff in education, and but this felt right, and the administration. Uh, I think is very, very supportive uh, from the superintendent, especially our principal. Uh, the school board's been good, and you know, I, I it was. I, I feel, I feel like it's right, and I still do. Since arriving here in January, what's it been like for you, just kind of getting your hands on this team, shaping this team? Uh, what have been some of the challenges, or has it been maybe a little bit easier than you thought it'd be? Well, the kids are great. I don't know what the stigma is in Louisiana or, you know, what the town, you know, where we're at. The kids are great. Uh, you know, I've said before, the, the town reminds me of where I grew up, Newton, Texas. A uh, little small town, and they're, they're country kids, and that's not anything negative. That's a compliment. And uh, the kids are just country. They work hard. Uh, you know, the yes, sir, no, sir. Um, you know, the, the expectations that we've put on them, they have met. Uh, you know, we work every day. We work the entire period. Uh, you know, we, we do stuff after school, and, and they work. And whatever we have put on them in the weight room, running, uh, the challenges we have met, they, they just do. And, and that's just expectations. And uh, I've been really pleased with our kids. I, 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 they're, they're great kids. Um, they, they just are. What sort of brand of football do you hope to bring here to Mansfield High School? Well, I, I think the main thing is is just being hard-nosed and being tough. You know, defensively, uh, you know, we're going to have to play some kids both ways, and a lot of people kind of shy away from it, you know, and want to be, you know, Put, put them on offense, and I want to be good on offense too, but uh, I think if you're going to make an immediate impact and you're going to be good, uh, you have to do it defensively, and we're going to get better on defense because we're going to, you know, we're going to play a style of ball, uh, we're going to be physical, but we're going to put better kids over there, and uh, we're just going to put better athletes, kids that can run, uh, kids that can tackle, uh, you know, we're going to try to put the best 11 we have, and that's four or five on offense it just is and we're going to have to get in better shape uh, but our kids uh, you know we're going to be physical and you know like I said earlier you know to be physical you got to hit at practice and you got to hit all the time and the more bumps and bruises you get that's that just makes you tougher and our, our kids have kind of figured that out you know and offensively it's the same type of ball you know we're going to go at people uh, we're going to get up there and we're going to run into you I mean we do have great skill kids and we're going to get them the ball in space. You talk about strength, speed. You talk about trying to build up that, that mentality there. Uh, Post-spring football now, heading into the summer, where do you feel like your program is at this point? Well, we're definitely way ahead of where I thought we would be. You know, uh, going into it, you know, uh, when we first kind of got here, I, I knew we needed to get stronger. And uh, kind of going into the spring game, we really played a lot better than what I, I thought we could possibly play. Defensively, all I wanted to do was just see us run and, and, and just gang tackle. And, uh, you know, we missed some tackles, but there was a lot of people around there to clean it up. And uh, our, our kids really ran to the ball. Uh, you know, they're, they're, we got a long way to go, but I'm saying the effort was there. But we're still a long way from where we want to be. So uh, I, I'm excited about our kids. And, you know, a lot of it is, you know, we've got to get seven on seven going this summer. And, you know, we'll do that for the next two months. And, you know, that'll help our program defensively. It'll help our program offensively. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep working. And like I said, we've got a really tough schedule ahead of us. And, you know, those teams are great. You know, I, and like I said, I don't know any of them. I, I don't know who anybody is. Uh, but everybody I talk to tells me, so I'm kind of going by word of mouth. I'm sure they're really, really good. And uh, they've got great players. And, you know, we're just going to, you know, have to play good ball.